Let's talk about the cabinet section of the Kemper. To get the cabinet section, all I do is hold the soft switch on the cabinet button right here, and we can see our controls, high shift and low shift. Now before we hear what that high and low shift sound like, it's important that if you haven't seen the video on the definition control and the EQ, uh, that you go back and watch those. Those are the first places I would start when dialing in a profile, but cabinet is definitely third. So high and low shift, what do they do? Think of the EQ knobs on the front, increasing the treble, the middle, the bass. Think of that as moving the treble or middle bass up in volume or down in volume. But low and high shift allow us to actually shift frequencies of that amplifier up or down. So we can take a small amp, something like a Princeton maybe, with not a lot of bass, and we can move some of that bass into the deeper register of the frequencies. We can get a lot heftier sound out of it. Or let's take an amp that maybe is a little bit dark. We could shift some of those frequencies up and we could get more chime out of a darker amp. So let's see what happens when we take this amp and compare the high shift at zero to the high shift at somewhere around plus one and somewhere about negative one. You can really hear how we're adding to the chiminess of the amp or taking away some of those higher frequencies. It's not so much that we're increasing the volume of the treble, but we're actually shifting the frequencies up or down. All right, so let's put that shift, uh, high shift back to zero, and let's try the low shift at plus one, zero, and negative one. And you're really gonna see how we can add to the depth of the bass, not just increase the volume of the bass that we're getting, but really add depth or take away depth. And this is where you can fool the profile into sounding like a smaller amp or a larger amp. Check it out. So you can hear there's some pretty cool and useful controls. We can deepen the base of an amp, or we can take some of the depth of the base away and make a big amp seem smaller. We can make a 412 sounding big 100 watt amplifier sound like a low wattage 112 combo amp. We can add chime, we can take chime away, we can make amps darker or brighter really by extending their frequency range. Well, hope you've enjoyed. As always, I'm HW, you've been watching Tone Junkie TV. Please subscribe.